Welcome back. An 80 year old man wants out of prison and he has the support of the Department of Corrections. It was back in 2015 when Dennis Chamberlain was put behind bars for helping to murder his wife. Chamberlain believed it was his right to help her die. For every crime, there's a story and the truth matters. Here's ABC 4's cr senior crime and punishment correspondent Marcos Ortiz with tonight's Justice Files. Dennis Chamberlain turned 80 years old this summer. He's serving three years and up to life in prison for his involvement in the death of his wife. Now the Department of Corrections wants an early release because of his health and age, but the Board of Pardons needs to sign off on it. She was a wonderful sister and was such a good person. But in 2014, Roy police learned something goes terribly wrong inside Dennis and Jean Chamberlain's home around the neighborhood. Jean Chamberlain's known to have health problems. Yeah, she did for the last couple years. I guess she were, had been failing and she had a stroke. Her husband, Dennis, is under arrest, jailed for murder. Earlier in 2014, she's buried, but no autopsies performed. Then police learn of rumors and reinvestigate her death. He'd make abusive remarks towards his wife. He was hired changing her colostomy bags, or he said bags. A search warrant at the home reveals information on the computer about methods to commit suicide and getting doctors to sign death certificates. He purchases an oxygen mask, a plastic hoodie used to suffocate her, a book titled The Peaceful Pill Handbook. Prosecutors claim they're used by Dennis Chamberlain to help murder his wife. Chamberlain claims they belong to the Hemlock Society, which champions the right to die. Eventually, he pleads guilty to attempted murder and goes to prison for three years and up to life. But after serving five years, the Department of Corrections applies for a so-called compassionate release, citing his health and low risk to reoffend. Chamberlain is now 80 years old when he recently appears before the Board of Pardons. She was falling down a lot. If I had it to do differently, I probably would have put her in a nursing home uh, for more ongoing care. But he didn't. Tomorrow night, in his own words, Chamberlain claims this was an assisted suicide and how his family is still torn apart. For the Justice Files, Marcus Ortiz, ABC4 News.